Today, I'm trying something I've always wanted to try. And some of you might be like, oh, Steve, but what? It, I kind of got this idea the other day because I was doing that research about people that live the longest. And one of the things that was on there is that people eat limited amounts of meat. And I think that was mainly talking about like fatty cuts of meat, pork, like, you know, beef and pork. And also, we as Americans eat way too much fast food, me included. Those are usually chock full of hormones and antibiotics. So today, this is my journey just to see if I could do it as a pescatarian. That sounds like a religion. A pescatarian, someone who doesn't eat uh, meat but eats fish. So they, they pretty much are uh, vegan, but they also eat fish. I'm also gonna include eggs into mine, which is a lacto-avo pescatarian, is that right? Um, my girlfriend kind of eats like this, I would say, a lot of the time. So tonight, hopefully we're gonna have like, so, so hopefully like- Shrimp, she, we can shrimp dinner. Shrimp? Yeah. All right, we can do like black bean stuff. Yeah, or, or, yeah, or did you want like a black, a black bean burger? We'll talk about it. Okay. But I'm gonna count my, my macros for you to show you guys how hard or easy it is to hit your protein requirement. My, my protein requirement right now, my macros are 230 grams protein, 425 grams carbs, and 107 grams fat. That's my macros for the day, 430, uh, or sorry, <laughs> 230, 425, and 107. So let's see how close I am to hitting those today. The first thing I'm gonna have is a shake. All right, measuring out, if you wanna get crazy, you can measure out your protein. I do it sometimes when I'm feeling crazy. Um, I wanna get at least, so right there, that is 19 grams of protein, 25 grams of this dairy-free plant-based protein is 18 grams of, of protein there. So that's gonna be a good start. What I'm gonna do though, is I want a little bit more. So I'm gonna go a half scoop as well. So I'm gonna have approximately 30 grams of protein in this. Well, 29, right there. First up, we have just our ice. Add banana, a little bit more. Boom, perfect, 75 grams. That's about, mm, just off the top of my head, about 18 grams carbs right there. Yeah, add some blueberries. Next up, we're gonna be adding some spinach to it. Spinach for, for a vegetable, I mean, for, people always say spinach is so high in protein, it is, but you have to eat so much spinach to even make a dent in your protein requirements. How much spinach is that? It's about an ounce of spinach right there, which is still, less than five grams of protein. Next up, adding the protein. Okay, next up. From there, we're adding a cup of almond milk. Almond milk, low carb. I'd say, you know, decent protein. Um, and then a little bit of fat. We're then going to add some more blueberries because let's be honest, more fruit in the smoothie is always better. better. All the way, all the way, all the way. That's it, you fin oh. Puppy, don't get that. 60 grams of blueberries. This is what it looks like at the end. Bada boom, bada bing. We don't use plastic straws because we're into saving the environment too. Gosh, we sound like hippies. To be honest, I use plastic straws all the time. And then I also like to lick the top because there's definitely some macros in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut my tongue. Breakfast number two. Breakfast Keep it on this pescatarian. Hey, should I start Instagram storing? Oh, this is YouTube. Yeah, this is YouTube. Oh, well, We're, We're actually, gonna try to give the other side of my my view. Of your your life. view of my life. Yeah. Of my, what about your life? My life. I don't give a f about my life. See, that's Jake's <laughs> life right there. Um, so we're about to go to IHOP, where I'm gonna get some eggs because, like I said, today is a pescatarian. Um, what is it? Lactose, avo, whatever. All these fancy words to make sure you can just eat eat fish and eggs. That's what we're doing today. I'm not doing that. that. What, are you, what are you doing today? For sure, I ate. What did I eat this morning? Probably didn't eat. No, Jake's an intermittent I faster. It's mix. Yeah, it's mix. You do. Yeah. I mean, all I had was that shake today. So I'm actually going to total up my calories for those two meals after this little IHOP dessert breakfast thing we're doing. What are you going to get back there? Probably an omelet. Probably some eggs. Too. It's a great shirt you got on. Hey, man, you want to put your seatbelt on so it's beeping? The viewers hate this shit. I, you should always buckle up. Don't let the comment like don't, Steve. Be safe. Be safe, man. I should buckle. Always buckle. I think they went a little overboard with my fruit bowl. 
Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that's your fruit bowl? Right there. <laughs> they think you're a big enough fruit as it is. <laughs> that was a horrible joke. <laughs> oh. Where'd you get over there? I'm scared. I got the same thing you got. Just with the there. <laughs> that fruit bowl cracks me up. That's messed up. Uh, Ma'am, I think you just gave me the child size of fruit. You can have two pieces of watermelon and one grape. I think they're telling you you need to start cutting. You cut the carbs. It's fucked up, man. It is messed up. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Filling up on some veggies, some avocado. My fruit bowl's not much better. I'm saying that's 15 grams of carbs. I'm only having I'm only having two slices of toast. And I'm waiting on my side of egg. Ma'am, I need my egg. You guys have seen my first two meals. It's time for me to work out. I typically like working out first thing in the morning. Like honestly, getting in that shake and then coming in and working out. We had some work stuff to do today. I'm the only one up here in the office and I'm trying to get motivation to go work out. I have been on my phone, been in emails all day. And if you guys are like me, I get thinking about one thing and I get obsessed. I get kind of like just tunnel vision on each thing that I do. It's great when I'm tunnel visioned on working out. It's bad if I am thinking about other something else. So I'm gonna do some meditation, I'm gonna go down and work out. Um, I'm then gonna get my third meal, you can call it that of the day, right before I go get my MRI on my knee. Hopefully the MRI, comes back that I don't have anything torn in the MCL. We'll see how it goes. I just wanna be better better safe than sorry on that kind of stuff. <sighs> Today is leg day, so I'm gonna have to work around that. I might do leg day and some triceps because it's always a good day to train triceps and I can't do that much for legs. So I'm gonna go try to do that right now. <sighs> really lacking motivation though. Just gotta go show up like we talked about. Gotta go just sometimes it's about just stepping foot in the gym. Luckily the gym is literally right behind me. So I'm gonna go do that right now but I feel your guys' pain. For those of you who say, you know, you have a hard time motivating yourself, I'm feeling that today. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Just, mind goes off, do the damn thing. So I, I do eat out a lot, but today is an exception, which is actually kind of cool to show you guys you can do this while you're eating out. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys my lunch right now. Just went to the grocery store, picked it up at a salad bar, kind of like a Whole Foods type salad bar, um, and staying on the pescatarian lifestyle. We have a half cup broccoli, half cup of berries. Um, we had three fourths cup quinoa. There is some salmon on there right now. We have 14 grams of avocado, a little bit of dressing. It was like a tablespoon of dressing, and then some carrots in there, and then garbanzo beans and this corn salsa thing on there. So I'm going to have to estimate this. I, I used, I know kind of the measurements on things. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add this four ounce piece of salmon to it all. That's four ounces cooked. Um, so a four ounce piece of salmon to that. And that is lunch, that is volume. That is a lot of volume because there's tons of spinach there on the, ball, on the bottom. Getting my fats obviously from the salmon, the avocado, and then the little bit of dressing in there. Getting the protein, the spinach, the broccoli, Quinoa is actually one of the highest, I guess it's not a grain, it's a technically a seed, but it kind of fits into that grain category. It's one of the highest you know, carbohydrate sources, uh, or highest protein from a typical carbohydrate source. And then you have the garbanzo beans and the black beans, which also have some protein in there. And then the berries, that's pretty much just dessert. So there you have it, high fiber, moderate carbs, moderate fat, high protein. Meal number three. Actually, no, this is meal number four. Meal number four. What do we make here? Mm -hmm. Shrimp, and there's black beans, and this avocado dip, with some mango salsa on top, and some romaine on these sprouted corn tortillas. I heat it up. For are, you, are you a pescatarian? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I kind of am. So this <laughs> is amazing. We have shrimp, black beans, we have that mango salsa that Courtney makes that's amazing, all on Ezekiel tortillas amazing 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 all right i'm gonna dig into this right now so finishing up my day as a pescatarian um it wasn't hard at all now to do it every single day day in and day out might be a little bit rough but i think personally that you know I, I i don't mind eating fish i would try to limit my tilapia i would try to eat you know wild wild caught salmon and that's great because it has those essential fatty acids also shrimp some other shellfish I think is fine. Scallops I love. 
But all in all, I think, you know, I, I, I was raised on beef. My parents every year, they would actually buy a cow from a local farmer, have it butchered, and then we'd have all the meat in our freezer. So much better than I think going to the store, buying steaks, buying, you know, whatever, one steak at a time. It wasn't cooped up in one of these these houses pumped full of slaughterhouses, pumped full of hormones. So I think I just want to be more conscious about where my food comes from. I think I could be a pescatarian if I could eat eat eggs. I don't do a ton of dairy, um, but I yesterday, so my, my protein shakes were plant-based. And I actually, what I realized is I don't mind plant-based or or even a little bit more natural of even, even whey protein. After a while, you get used to kind of the flavoring. At first, you're like, oh, you know, that's not as strong, that's not as sweet. But if you're using it in conjunctions with like berries in a shake with spinach, banana, and I did blueberries, to me, I prefer that taste so much more over the, the crazy artificial shakes. Now, that being said, it's kind of nice to have a dessert shake every now and then, but. So yeah, I think the, the day I had salmon, I had a lot of salmon. Um, the only thing I ate that I didn't show you, well, two things, um, I had an orange, and uh, at the end of the night, I had another protein shake that we made into some protein ice cream. I typically have that probably two or three nights a week. Um, I didn't film those things because it was late and I just, I did not do it. I was in kind of a bad mood too. Um, just, you know, saw something on the internet that I let affect me and didn't film, so that's on me. But today, so this is, uh, that was obviously yesterday. Today, I am eating, I had a lot of chicken today. So I'm gonna try to do one day a week where I do pescatarian and just see how it goes from there. You know, it's a little bit hard to get protein. You have to maybe do a couple more shakes, but I, I just noticed that I eat so much more greens and that, my friends, is a good thing. So if anything you guys take from this, just be conscious of what you're putting in your body. Try to eat a little bit more greens, eat a little bit more veggies and uh, maybe put a little less artificial stuff in your body. All right guys, thank you for watching. Like always, if you like these videos, consider subscribing. I love you guys who subscribe. I love you who don't subscribe. I, I love you either way. I just would appreciate you guys subscribing.